For the first time in the history of the Academy Awards, an all-black producing team is being recognized in the most prestigious category, Best Picture. Judas and the Black Messiah, that's about the death of Illinois Black Panther Party Chairman Fred Hampton at the hands of the FBI is up for one, two, three, four, five, six Oscars. Thank you very much. The producing team behind the film includes Charles D. King. He's a former top talent agent. CBS This Morning Saturday co-host Michelle Miller shows us how King is working to transform Hollywood by redefining the power brokers who decide which stories get told and who tells them. Do you consider yourself a disruptor? I consider myself to be a positive disruptor. If nothing else, 51-year-old Charles D. King is a change agent. He worked his way up from the mailroom to become the company's first black partner after nearly two decades at the talent agency now known as William Morris Endeavor. He represented some of the biggest names in the industry. But in 2015, King left to launch his own production company. You come all the way back. Yeah. Macro aims to not only produce, but also finance projects driven by people of color. This content that we see, it has a huge impact, both positively as well as negatively. And I want to make sure that we're part of the sea change of seeing images that represent the spectrum of who we are. It's not easy for me to admit that I've been standing in the same place for 18 years. Well, I've been standing with you. The company's first major studio release was Fences, which went on to earn four Academy Award nominations. And I'd say when Denzel started winning awards and Viola was started winning, and they were acknowledging macro. And so I think things really began to run from there. What is your vision? Our vision is to build a global media company. So think Disney, think DreamWorks, but that have people of color at the center of them. A UCLA report found that people of color bought at least half of the tickets for nine of the top 10 films in the U.S. in 2019. And while diversity on camera is on the rise, researchers say that more than 90 percent of senior executive positions are held by white people. We need people who can not just make quality films, but also who can determine what gets made. And so that takes financing. Journalist Pamela Newkirk has been reporting on diversity in business for decades. I think part of the problem in the past has been that we look at films as either African-American films or Latino films or Asian films. And I think Charles has a broader vision. He's looking at people of color writ large. What are you doing? Fixing your headache. In just six years, Macro has been behind popular streaming shows and more than a dozen movies, including Judas and the Black Messiah. The Black Panthers are forming a rainbow coalition. King believed in the project enough that part of the film's budget, which was reported to be north of $25 million, came from his own company. Having that co-financed deal, yes. what, what did it provide you with? provided me with a seat at the table. In another scenario, three, four years before, I don't know how the movie would have gotten made, not in the way that we made it. And how did you make it? We made it unapologetically. We made it telling the truth. That creative freedom left the door wide open for first time studio director Shaka King. Had this gone through more traditional means in the sense of you know having no financing attached, I think it would have been a harder sell. What kind of tweaking do you think they might have made? It would have probably had to lean far, far, far more commercial. I have no idea, but I wouldn't have done it. So, <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> it just, it would never have happened. All this talk of diversity, though, is it still a struggle to get films like this made? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for being honest. <laughs> we still will go into pitch meetings where there isn't a single, single person of color in the room. Still, King says he's encouraged by the direction Hollywood is heading. And I think it's the combination of that, of storytellers who are getting access, of more of us when inside of the studios and the streaming platforms that have decision-making power. When you have more of that, you have options, I believe that will create more of the sea change within our industry. Hey, hey, I For 
For CBS This Morning, Michelle Miller, Los Angeles. All I'm, right, I'm mesmer King. Yeah, I'm yeah, mesmerized by Daniel Kaluuya just in that clip again. Yes, oh, it's, yes. it's an amazing film. Yeah. Charles D. King, a round of applause. Yeah. Listen, a positive disruptor and a badass. Yeah. I, I like his vision, though, what he says. Think Disney, yeah. think DreamWorks, why not? think macro. And money and absolutely, talks. why not? Money talks, and he put his own in to get more control. And he's so right to show images that represent the spectrum. That's been part of the problem in Hollywood. It's been so... There have been so many stereotypes, many of them very negative, but for him to say, I want to show the spectrum. Yeah. Yeah. And there is a spectrum. And over-categorizing. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's like they're American Bravo. films. They're not necessarily black exactly. films or Asian films. Exactly they're American right, films. Anthony.